Hey guys, back, another video, and this one is the one I promised to make, but I kind of got lazy, got kind of, I just didn't make, I apologize. This is going to be the talk of the rebooted Bakugan, I believe it's called Bakugan Battle Plan, I, I think that's right, I know I'm right. Anyway, you'd think with all the reboots I've talked about, with only one being the exception, and that being the rebooted uh, DuckTales. You'd think I'd have a problem with this one, wouldn't you? You'd think I'd hate it. You'd think I'd hate the animation, hate the characters, and you'd think I'd hate the new Bakugan, wouldn't you? Well, in the words of the late, great, rowdy, Roddy Piper, just when you think you have all the answers, I change the questions! I'll be honest, I actually... I'm actually not that mad at this one. It's weird since a lot of reboots pissed the hell out of me, like the last one I showed you with Thundercats Roar. That kind of stuff really pissed me off. When you take this kind of, these kind of characters and just turn them to gooey dough bullshit. Bakugan, the characters were already kind of super hyper active and insane, mainly Dan, Kuso, the main character. The animation, well, it's not the best. It is the, it's not the best, it's not the worst. It's decent animation, I'll say that. It's decent animation. The Bakugan themselves, Drago looks pretty cool. I'll, I'll definitely say that, Drago looks awesome. There's no Marucho, no Shun, no Alice, no Julie. <laughs> Mainly every character you know from Bakugan except Dan just get out of your mind. That's a question I always have. Like you always have these character these well defined these iconic kind of characters. Why do you only bring one back? And another thing is I, I watched an episode a few episodes of Bakugan Battle Planet, and I'll say this, it actually is a good show, actually. I know that's actually shocking. A reboot? It's not DuckTales where the reboot, reboot is almost surpassing to the bar of the original cartoon DuckTales. But it's... It's hard. It's hard because Duck, DuckTales is the bar of reboots done right. But Bakugan Battle Planet is actually the maximum amount of effort to where it looks like they put effort into this. It looks like they took time. They cared about this product. It doesn't just look like they were doing this just to get a paycheck. And that's why I see it reboots as like Teen Titans Go, Thundercats Roar, Beyblade Burst. Uh, Beyblade Burst, I've talked about, well, just mention this again. I'm not the biggest fan of Beyblade Burst. I love Beyblade as a kid. I still love him to this day. The animation is good. It's good, but I don't know. Again, just like back, why is it that the Bakugan one and the Beyblade one are actually Decently done reboots. That's weird. <sighs> so I'll say this. Bakugan Battle Planet. Not the worst reboot, but not the best. It's decent. It's a show. It's a cartoon. The main problem that I found with this show is that they gave the dog a Bakugan. A dog is now a Bakugan Battle Brawler. I think you can see where this cartoon kind of hits a low point with me. Other than that, I really can't see anything wrong with this show. I can't see anything too stupid. The intro is decent. Nothing will compare to that awesome rockin' theme song from the 2006 show. Nothing will compare to that. But the sh again, this is hard because usually I'm with when it comes to these reboot videos, I constantly rage on them, I shit on them, I insult the hell out of them. Bakugan Battle Planet is actually a show where it makes me think. It's a show. It's that. It's a show. It's a cartoon that kids can enjoy. Yes, it has the same cancer thing. Wait, did it? Was it a 13 minute show or was it 15? Was it 30 minutes or 15? Either way, it doesn't feel like one of those rushed out episodes of Teen Titans Go where you've. It just feels like it was just 
like that, it's there and it's gone. Back on Battle Plan, it was able to actually suck me in to the story, actually, to where I might want to watch more of this show, but I possibly won't. <laughs> It's weird, it's, I know I keep repeating myself, but it's just so bizarrely weird to have a reboot done correctly that's actually not Disney. And I know people keep shitting on the live action Disney adaptations of classic movies, and I've talked about the Kim Possible one enough, and I don't think my sister will be making the video with me, so sorry. But enough of that, um... So yeah, back on Battle Planet, not the worst reboot, it actually, not a bad reboot, I'll actually say, it's not bad, actually. It's not good, it's not bad, it's not the best, it's not the worst. Man, is this show hard to explain to me. Since, oh man, another funny, th a funny thing I actually found in the show is that everyone, I know they probably, I remember they did this a few times in the original, but that was only like main villains. Everyone calls Dan, Dan Cuso. Even his mother calls him by his full name. That's funny to me because, again, the animation's not the worst looking, but it's still completely... If you were to show this to a fan of Bakugan who hasn't seen any other Bakugan since the first season and showed them the re Bakugan Battle Planet and asked them if this is Dan Cuso, they would not believe you. I can kind of see it. He has the same fiery passion toward Bakugan as the original Dan. But if you were to show this Dan to another Bakugan fan who has not seen anything about this episode, they would deny every possible existence that this kid is Dan Kuso. It just makes me laugh because it's like they're saying, no, this is Dan Kuso. His name is Dan Kuso, so he must be Dan Kuso. It's just funny to me that they constantly have to say his full name for you to get the idea that this it kid is Dan Kuso. The fiery, dense, pirate brawl that we came to know and grow up with. Man, this is a weird one. Of all the videos about a reboot I've done, this is definitely the weirdest one because it's actually gotten me to think about the show itself. Story-wise, I'm not sure, since I think I've only seen like a handful of episodes. It looks like they can, they're doing a story kind of around... Uh, season, it was the second incarnation, um, Vexos, to where they hit, actually, I have no clue. I'll... Another thing I'll say is, I don't know the story, I'm sorry to lead you on that note, but another problem I have, like, with the design of the Bakugan themselves, with the original Bakugan and every incarnation leading to the, until this one, the Bakugan look like living creatures, they look like monsters. With this season, they look more like robotic, they look more metallic. I just, it's hard for me to get behind that since, hold on, oh, it's just the brick, I thought my battery was dying for a second, my bad, it's the record, jeez, I'm stupid, anyway, what was I saying, um, oh yeah, the metal, the back of look more robotic than actual creatures, and it's just hard because Drago in the original, and in the original show, Dan, Kusa, Dan, Shun, Maruto, all of them always fought against the idea of robotic mechanical Bakugan. Cyber Bakugan, anything that was robotic and wasn't like life, they were against. And to see it become person, to see it all look like now robots. I know, possibly they aren't robots, I don't know. But that's just me, it looks weird. But it also kind of looks good. Again, man, this is a weird one. Anyway, that is it for this video. I can promise you another video will be coming out of what I have no freaking clue. Just be sure, be willing, or willing, <laughs> be waiting for that. Because I can guarantee you a new video, another video will be coming out today. I promise, and I guarantee it. See ya.